1.5 ethics what are ethics ethics are a structure of standards and practices that influence how people lead their lives it is not strictly implemented to follow these ethics but it is basically for the benefit of everyone that we do ethics are unlike laws that legally mandate what is right or wrong ethically ethics illustrate society's view about what is right and what is wrong computer ethics computer ethics are a set of moral standards that govern the use of computers it is society's view about the use of computers both hardware and software privacy concerns intellectual property rights and effects on societies are some of the common issues of computer ethics effects on society first of all it is for jobs some jobs have been abolished while some jobs have become simpler as computers have taken over companies and businesses things can now be done in just one click whereas before it takes multiple steps to perform a task this change may be considered unethical as it limits the skill of the employees there are also ethical concerns on health and safety of employees getting sick from the constant sitting staring at computer screens and typing on computer keyboard or clicking on the mouse environmental impact environment has been affected by computers and the internet since so much time spent using computers increases energy usage which in turn increases the emission of greenhouse gases there are ways where we can save energy like limiting computer time and turning off the computer or putting on sleep mode when not in use buying energy efficient computers with uh, you you might have seen energy star label can also help save the environment social impact computers and internet help uh, people stay in touch with family and friends social media has been very popular nowadays computer gaming influence society both positively and negatively positive effect effects are improved hand eye coordination stress relief and improved strategic thinking negative imp impacts and effects are addiction of gamers isolation from the real world and exposure to violence computer technology helps the government in improving services to its citizens advanced database can hold huge data being collected and analyzed uh, by the government computer technology aids businesses by automating process reports and analysis intellectual property rights first of all we have copyright is a form of intellectual property that gives uh, proprietary publications distributions and usage rights for the author this means that uh, whatever idea the author created cannot be employed by anyone else without the permission of the author whatever that is being produced written made shown is having a copyright just the idea does not have any copyright plagiarism it is an act of copying and publishing another person's work without proper citation it's like stealing someone else's work and releasing it as your own work software licenses software license allow the use of digital material by following the license agreement ownership remains with the original copyright owner users are just granted license to use the material based on the agreement free software freeware and shareware uh, computer software is subject to copyright laws in order to protect its authors and provide them with fair compensation for their hard work without payment there would be no incentive for programmers to spend years creating or maintaining their software some software distributed free of charge uh, with this in mind 
it is important to understand the different licenses connected to computer software there is one traditional license traditional uh, software license are easy to understand you pay the author for the privilege of using the software on a specified number of computers this does not give you any ownership of the software or the right to modify and redistribute it to others so free software the word free in free software refers to the freedom to modify the source code and redistribute the software the software may not actually be free of charge to download and purchase freeware freeware is software that is distributed free of charge it is usually fully functional with no expiry date the author retains the copyright to the program means you can use you can distribute it but you cannot alter the source code shareware shareware is software that is initially distributed free of charge but may later require a payment to unlock or key functionality allowing users to try your software in this way creates an in interest in your program and allows people to try before they buy so if you download a software and that is there for 30 days trial it means that it is a shareware then we have privacy concerns in privacy concern the first concern is famous hacking it is unlawful intrusion into a computer or a network a hacker can intrude through the security levels of computer system or network and can acquire unauthorized access to the um, others computer cracking cracking is always of uh, breaking into system by getting past the security features of the system it is a way of skipping the registration and um, authentication steps when installing a software so if you install a software which is license free it is not asking you for a key or whenever you observe the key is already entered it is a cracked version of the software lastly we have uh, uh, malware malware production means uh, malicious software malware is a malicious software which is created to impair a computer system common malwares are viruses which are made to uh, bring havoc to the computer delete files and and uh, to bother you then we have got spyware spyware is a software which steals your data and sends it back to the user trojan horses trojan horses are also the software which are installed and at some time at some point of time it actually takes your data and sends it back to the um, creator of it and then we have got worms worms replicate themselves over the network and to the day when they bring a bug to the whole computer network a virus can delete files from the hard drive while spyware can collect data from a computer so that's about it for 1.5 ethics thank you